And now, with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row, meteorologist Jeff Andrews. Thanks for being with us. Hope you're ready for your weekend. It's coming regardless, right? We had a little bit of sunshine today. The winds have been calm throughout the day. The winds are going to be increasing. The cloud cover has. Here's what we're seeing in Green Bay right now. The uh, uh, Bridge Main Street downtown is 34 degrees. The Storm Team 5 Skyview is powered by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. It's 32 degrees right now in Appleton. You know, the road's in good, good shape right now. They're dry. Of course, that's going to be changing as we get into the weekend. Sturgeon Bay at 33 degrees right now. Pretty calm. You can see how tranquil it is on the water. All right, uh, as I mentioned, it's 33 degrees now. We have some, uh, you know, a couple rounds of snow coming at us. Around one tonight, not too far off. Round two, uh, probably the heavier of the two, that's tomorrow evening. And gusty winds are going to accompany both of them. With that, you get the blowing and drifting of the snow. It also complicates things along the lake shore as far as the ice shoves and uh, the floods and such. All right, we have the winter weather advisory. This is for this evening, 9 o'clock till tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. It's the areas in the purple. The lakeshore flood advisory, that's tonight into Sunday morning. All this area in green here. Uh, the strong north-northeast winds could be gusting upwards of 40 miles an hour. The stronger wind gusts are going to be on your Saturday. Now this is Saturday. The winter weather advisory, the areas in purple, 6 o'clock Saturday night into Sunday morning. And the areas in pink, which includes you know, the peninsula, Green Bay, the Fox Valley, and south. That goes from uh, tomorrow afternoon into 6 o'clock on Sunday morning. All right, as I mentioned, a couple rounds of snow here. Round number one, one to three inches of snow potentially. Round number two. Two, maybe upwards of six inches of snow. All right, this is what we're looking at, the culmination, all right? Now you've got this contour here, the dark purple in the far southeastern corner of Wisconsin, nine plus inches, and you work your way to the north and also to the west. You've got Green Bay and the Fox Valley, three to six inches potential by the end of the weekend as we get into Sunday morning. I'll kind of give you an idea when it's going to be exiting. Here's what we're seeing right now. Creeping uh, even closer to us, a lot of moisture coming our way. It's going to be taking kind of a trajectory. It's been going north and east. It's going to be, uh, I think, more north tomorrow as we get into the afternoon. 7 o'clock to tonight, you can see the precipitation upon us. Could be in the form of rain, maybe a mix. Depends on the temperature and such. Here's towards midnight tonight when I think the intensity is going to be greatest. This is going to continue on the overnight. Here's tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. We see it's starting to make an exit here. Uh, it's still with us, so as we get into the later part of the morning, afternoon hours, it's past. It's round number one. We get a little bit of a break. Here's four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Things uh, start to you know intensify as we get into the evening. Here's a snow line at that point. All right. Here's a look at seven o'clock Saturday night, and by you know later on in the evening, it's uh, pretty well uh, widespread over our area. By Sunday morning, here's five a.m. You can see at that point, it's pretty well past us. Plenty of time to clear things off at Lambeau for the game. Sunday evening. Now the winds I mentioned, that's going to be uh, complicating things too. Tonight not bad, but they pick up later on this evening. We're seeing gusts out of the south, 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow, middle part of the day, it's even gustier at that point. We're seeing kind of a bit of a shift here from the north-northeast.